Australian Defence Force contingent conducted a practice this morning along the Champs Elysees uh, in conjunction with the French military uh, to rehearse for the uh, French National Day Parade on the 14th of July. We had an early start this morning uh, and uh, yeah, out on the, the Champs Elysees before uh, pre or before dawn. It gave us plenty to work on, but it, I, I'm absolutely confident that we're going to look absolutely brilliant on the day uh, yeah, and uh, again, very proud to be involved. <laughs> The Royal Australian Air Force today is undertaking a series of drill training sessions to ensure that we fit the requirements for the French National Parade in commemorative events as required on the 14th of July. The training sessions have been long, um, there have been multiple training sessions per day, um, it's been very testing. Present. Um. We're going to look excellent. I think uh, we've had lots of practice leading up to the event, so uh, we should be in perfect alignment. Our timing should be perfect. Um, we've had a lot of practice, so I think we'll look great. The Australian contingent has uh, conducted its uh, last rehearsal uh, in the city of Paris uh, before the parade on the 14th. Uh, we're leading the parade uh, this year in the position of uh, Nation of Honour. The, uh, the French military are quite happy with our uh, presence and our performance and uh, leading the parade uh, ahead of uh, 3,000 uh, military troops uh, from the uh, French military and uh, the gendarme and the police and customs of uh, Paris. After this morning's uh, effort, the rehearsal's gone very well and uh, the troops have certainly got the energy and uh, can see the importance and the prestige of this parade here in Paris. Our involvement, uh, particularly in our centenary uh, of Anzac, uh, period and um, they're starting to realise uh, how much the French appre appreciates our efforts and uh, remembers our uh, service and sacrifice from the First War.